joining us now is Dr. Om Manchanda. He's CEO at Dr. Lal Path Labs. Thank you very much for joining us on NDTV Profit. Um, you know, ballpark, what's the kind of figure you're looking to raise through the IPO? Uh, our issue opens on 8th of December. It closes on 10th of December. And it's offer for sale about 14%. And the price band is 540 to 550. And on the upper band, we are hoping to raise about uh, 631 to 632 crores. Okay. How much equity is being offered by the promoters and others? Uh, what will be the net uh, dilution post the issue? Yeah, net dilution is 14%. There are, there are three groups of selling shareholders. One is a promoter group. Uh, they are offloading about 5%. And we have two private equity investors. investors. One of them is uh, selling about 7%. The other one is selling about 2%. Will the private equity investors have any residual stake? Yeah, yeah, it's only about uh, 30 odd percent they are selling, but they will be still left with a very large stake in the, in the company. Okay, when you say large stake, what is the uh, leftover stake post uh, public offer of these uh, investors? Between the two of them, they currently own uh, about, around about 32 percent, and uh, after selling 9 percent, they will be still left with about 23 percent. Fair enough. Uh, the money that's raised through the public offer, utilization plan? Uh, it's, it's a secondary offer. There's no primary, uh, so th that means there's no company coming into the company. Uh, we already have uh, uh, cash on our balance sheet, close to 235 crores, and uh, we don't have any debt. So all our expansion plan will be met through internal accruals. Okay, let's talk about... Uh, the financial performance of the company. It's clocked a turnover of about 662 crore rupees in FY15. Uh, what kind of growth rate are you targeting this year? So I can't make any forward-looking statement on the growth, but uh, our growth rates in the past have been uh, about 20.7% uh, for the two-year CAGR. So, and the market is growing close to 16 to 17%. So that's our historical uh, growth rates, uh, which I can share with you. Sure, but I do want to delve a little deeper and understand, you know, the profitability trends for your company and the kind of growth rates uh, that you're factoring in. So we have consistently delivered uh, our EBITDA up between uh, 27 to 27.5% for the last few years. And uh, as we expand, uh, our, our, we, we actually want to make expansion for our growth top line. And we are a very asset light model, but we hope to see that uh, whatever we have seen in the past, we should be able to maintain that as well. What about expansion? See, to grow our business, we uh, keep on expanding our network through patient service centers uh, by opening a lot of satellite labs. And, uh, and many of these satellite labs are owned by us, but we don't own the building. And uh, we have uh, instruments which are available to us on reagent rental model. And patient service centers are all, most of them are franchised out. So that's why it becomes a very asset light model. Going forward, we'll keep on expanding our network as we enter into new markets. And that's how we'll keep utilizing our internal accruals to grow the business. Fair enough. Uh, all the best. Dr. Om Manchanda, CEO at Dr. Lal Path Labs. Uh, where essentially you have the public offer opening on the 8th of December, closing on the 10th of December, price band 540 to 550.